So this short video is to look at how to paint a ceiling correctly. The best thing to do is always make sure you paint the ceilings before you do anything else with regards to paintwork. So ceilings first, then walls, then all your woodwork to finish. But what we need to do is cut in. Now in this instance, because we've already got a white ceiling and white walls, I'm actually using a, a grey, just so you can actually see the process and what I'm actually doing. So to cut in in this instance, what we're going to do is actually cut in so some of the paint goes onto the wall, over onto the coving, and also slightly onto the ceiling, which is where my, uh, my roller is going to do most of the work. So load your paintbrush up, fill in around about an inch and a half or so onto the ceiling, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the lower part as well. Now we only need to go over about an inch or so under um, before filling in the middle because that painting that lower part means that we've got something then to cut into when we overlap our wall colour. So once it's fully dry, it makes it nice and easy for us to, uh, to actually finish off a nice neat job with our cutting in with our wall colour. So around about 50 millimetres at a time up onto the ceiling and down onto the walls. And then we just carry on with this all the way around the wall, all the way around the ceiling, painting in the coving. And then it's time to actually get the roller out. So I'll finish this off and out. Right, so I've finished off cutting in around the outside. Um, now it's time to get the roller. But I have noticed I've just got a little drip that's gone onto the walls here. So rather than painting over it, what I'm going to do is get a damp cloth that's in my pocket, which I always carry, just wipe it off, and then it won't cause any issues when it comes to actually painting around the rest of the walls later on. So while the cutting in is still wet, this is when we need to roll. Now, it is advisable, if possible, to work with the light source and work away from it. So rather than starting randomly across the ceiling, it's always best to start with a light source. So imagine there's a window just here, we're gonna start in that corner there and work our way across towards where the door would be on this side. So with a loaded roller, we're actually gonna start here and put a roller full fully across the ceiling like so, and then bring it backwards, making sure that the metal part of the roller arm is actually facing away from the internal edge. Otherwise this hits the coving or the wall and then it will mark it. So by keeping away from there, you can go really close up to your cutting in and over your cutting in nice and gently to ensure that you get a nice tight line all the way along the back edge. Roll it out until it's nice and even. And then to move backwards, all we're doing is taking small pigeon steps towards the exit. So if I reload my roller, we can start on the left or right hand side, doesn't matter. So in this instance, I'm gonna start here, all the way across in one go, all the way back again, and then join the last one that I've just finished, and then working my way away from that source of light. Now the reason for working away from the source of light is that we can actually see the light reflecting from the light source down to our eyes, so we can see it shining. And if the whole ceiling is shiny, that means the whole ceiling has had a coat of paint. If you see it patchy for any reason, that's because one, you're not putting enough paint on or not evenly. So by rolling side to side in nice, consistent, even tempo means you will actually distribute the paint nice and easily and nice and evenly across. So. If the ceiling should happen to be quite large, you may want to consider two people, one person cutting in and the second person rolling. It just means you can cover a large expansive area much, much faster. Also, you probably might have noticed the roller is here in front of me, which means any roller splatter is falling down in front of me this way, but I'm walking backwards rather than walking into the, into the falling shower of any overspray. But I've just rolled that one there, no overspray on my hands, none of my glasses, none of my t-shirt, but it's all done.